How's it going guys and welcome to part 3 of this series that I'm doing where I'm just looking at all the easter eggs in Dying Light. Uh, this is one I've done before and I'm sure a lot of people will have done before but if you have literally just got the game, just started it, I know we're in lockdown so people are probably just buying games and having goes with them so yeah if you've just started this game right over here so this is in the slums this is the first place you uh, actually go where you end up when you play Dying Light and you can get this weapon at the very beginning of the game as well as another one which I'm going to cover in the next episode so this one is for the Excalibur and it is right in this location here where I put my waypoint and literally you will be able to see now look, that I've literally just started the game this is all um, this is the first quest so I'm going to head to that marker now and I'll show you how to get the Excalibur. Alright, so I've made it to the sea and all you have to do is simply just swim out here. This this game is so much different. My, I've got like a damn near maxed out account and this is just so much different. You can't even run for like 10 seconds without getting out of breath. Alright, so you get to this stone and right here you'll see a dead zombie. Now this is the most painstaking part, I think it's about 3 minutes, 3 to 5 minutes you have to hold the F button. Let's begin. It doesn't even look like it's moving anywhere, but it is. is and you can literally get this weapon from the beginning of the game that's 300 damage which isn't much but as it's about to do you know I've just noticed literally everything about this this Easter egg is slow oh look it's burning more and more come on come on and there it is you also get the blueprint for it so that is basically how you get the Excalibur. Now let's go and try it out. Alright, so let's try them out on these zombies. Ooh. Ooh, yes. Pretty devastating. And a little bit overpowered to see you can get it literally on the first mission. As soon as I came out of that tower, I literally paused the game, turned on my camera and went to go get this weapon. It is insane. For, for a beginner weapon, it is not bad at all. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope I gave a good enough explanation as to how you get it. Uh, also, this is what it requires to make it. Um, let's find this now. Excalibur. So this is what it is required to make it. So it does take a bit of making once, um, once you do reach high enough level to make it really count. Uh, but still, it's a, it's a decent weapon to have. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will be continuing. My next one will be another blade that you can get which was put in the game for developers because they like to cheat a little bit. But anyways, <laughs> I'll see you in the next video. Please like, subscribe, peace.